Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be doing a quick Unreal tutorial on how you can make a first person character move and rotate his camera and walk around like a standard FPS. I'm going to be doing this in Blueprint because Blueprints are quite easy to convert to C++, if so if you're doing a C++ project you just need to call the same functions and you'll get all the same functionality. Now what you want to do is you want to create a character type, a new Blueprint now, I'm just going to call mine FPS character and open that up. Uh, what I like to do is I actually like to add the camera to this um, character. You can just leave it blank and have Unreal uh, create one for you but I like to create one myself so I can alter it and manipulate it. I like to bring it up to head height and I don't bring it all the way to the front because if you bring it all the way to the front you can sometimes experience clipping problems so I normally put it a little bit forward around there and that tends to be a good area to put it. Now once you've created this you need to go into your project settings. You need to scroll down to input on the left here. So if you click on input and you need to add in some axis mappings. Now I've already got some in but I will delete these and recreate them just to show you how to do it. It's very simple. So we're going to have some mappings for forwards and backwards movement. So just call the first one forwards and back, backward. And so this is going to be a simple WASDA movement and I'm also going to add in control support. So I want W to go forward. So we will select W from the keyboard inputs and that's going to be a scale of one. We're going to add another one. Uh, sorry, that's the wrong one. I'm looking for S for WASDA movement. In the keyboard input, the S key is going to be minus one because that is going to be us walking backwards. And then we're also going to have gamepad support and that is going to be based on our left thumbstick Y axis. So X goes left to right, Y goes up to down. So you want the Y axis for forwards and back movement and that's that one done. And then if we add in some right left movement as well, again WASDA, so D would be going right. So if we go down to the keyboard input, the D key, that would be scale one because that would go right. And then similarly, if we add in the A key to go left and set the scale to minus one. And finally, add in our gamepad support. So this will be the thumbstick, left thumbstick X axis. So that's what we need for the, the movement. So let's just get that hooked up before we move on to camera rotation. You, for now you don't need any of these events so you can get rid of those and I'm just going to right click in here and if you just search for the whatever you called your input uh, bindings there if you just search for that you'll see there's an axis event for that created for you so you want to attack you want to bring in that and similarly for the right left there we go axis event right left and what we're actually going to do here is we're going to get the control rotation. So we're going to get, we're going to start setting up for camera movement already. So if you get the control rotation, that does, that comes through with a rotation of what your pawn is, the direction your pawn is currently facing, because we want our movement to be relative to the position we're looking in. So if we break out this rotator, and then we create a new rotation based solely off the Z axis. So that if you think of a line going from the character's head going directly up into the sky, that would be the Z axis. Um, so we want to make a rotator there and we just want to break, put that there. We can break the link to the X one because we just want this to be the yaw. Um, and then we're going to bring this out twice. We're going to make the forward vector, which we'll use for Oh, sorry, it's get forward. That's what we're going to use for our forward backwards movement. And then we're going to get our right vector, which is going to be for our left right. And then what you can see with these events is it comes through with an axis value and that comes through with the input binding. Um, so if I'm pressing D, then this axis value for right left will come through as one. If I'm not pressing anything, it'll be zero. And if I'm pressing A, it will come through as negative one. So we're going to do a simple call here called add movement input, which we call on ourself because we are a character. Uh, the scale value will give the axis value coming through from the input 
and the world direction is going to be the forward vector for our rotation. And then again, very similar to for the bottom one. We're gonna bring that across. The axis value goes to the scale value, and this time we use the right vector for the world direction. Compile that, save that, bring that in, and then just to do a quick test, I'm just gonna quickly create a game mode. Um, FPS game mode, like that. That will be our game mode override. The default pawn is gonna be our FPS character, the one we've just created. Save that. If I hit play now, so I'm moving my mouse and I'm not rotating because we've not set that up yet, but if I press A, I go to the left, D to go to the right, W forward, S back. There we go. And just for completeness, I'm gonna plug in my controller. There we go. So we've got it working for controller and for keyboard, which is good and it is what we want. Okay, so now we need to add in some camera rotation. So we're gonna do something very similar. Go back to your input and we're gonna add in the axis mappings for the looking around. So I'm gonna call these events look up slash look down. And then I'm gonna assign that to the mouse. Um, so I'm gonna put this to the mouse Y, but what I'm gonna do is because I don't like inverted controls, I'm actually going to change this to minus one for the scale. So that means when you move your mouse going upwards, that actually equates to it being a value of one. Now this will be personal preference. And you know, if you're making a game, it's likely that you would add this as an option so that players can choose their own. Um, but I'm just going to do for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to say that to minus one. Um, and to stick with our gamepad support, I'm going to put the gamepad right thumbstick y-axis in as well, and we'll leave that as one. Uh, and then just quickly do the same for, oh, I've done, didn't mean to do that. Uh, just going to do a look right and look left. Look left. Uh, same thing, but this time we use a mouse X and we also use the gamepad right thumbstick x-axis like so. Okay, and then if you come back into your character, so I've just added a comment around those, similar to before, so we'll do the look up, look down. One thing I like to do with this is I like to clamp my axis value that comes in because the mouse can get pretty outrageous for how fastly it can, you, it can uh, move. So I like to clamp this value between minus one and one so that it will never be above that. Um, controllers inherently can never go between above one or less than minus one, but the mouse can. So I just like to do that. And then for the look up and look down, we're gonna be adding controller pitch input to our pawn, and that will pitch the camera. One thing actually I need to mention um, if you, like me, have created your own camera, what you need to do for this to work is you need to click on your camera and you need to tick this box that says use pawn control rotation, otherwise this won't work. You can not use this and instead of targeting the pawn, you would target the camera and you would add pitch to that or you would add a rotation to that, sorry. Um, but I prefer to just have this box ticked as it's a lot easier. Um, so similarly, let's add in our look right and look left, like so. Again, gonna clamp that value um, between minus one and one. It's important that it's between minus one and one so that you can, your characters can turn both ways. Um, and then we are going to add pitch uh, controller Sorry, not pitch. This time it is your input because um, we're going to be rotating left to right for that. Attach that up, compile that, save that, and hopefully when I hit play now, click on screen, I can look up, I can look down, I can look left, I can look right. Perfect. And then you'll see I'm walking forward. Because of the rotation stuff we added to the movement, um, I walk in the correct direction. Um, doesn't really matter if I'm looking up or down, I always stay on the right plane. So there it is, there's your 
quick tutorial on how to create a FPS character movement. Obviously, tweak yours how you like for sensitivity and for how you want your game to work, but that is everything. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any more tutorials you'd like to see, please drop a comment below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.